Right on. That was Scarlet's Wake with Choke. And wow, man, like we've said before with with like was Mr. Kraken and stuff, like these ladies can just tear it up. <laughs> I mean, I, I picked this one because Amy sent me two and I picked Choke just because I mean it still had the heavy quality to it, but no, I, I love the vocals on it. <clears throat> and I love the mixture of it because I know you put kind of like Marilyn Manson, uh, like, like, uh, uh verses, you know, and then kind of towards the end, they went towards a little bit, seemed like a little bit alternative, but the one thing I did notice, and this for me, it stood out because I'm a huge fan. And I mentioned before is the first little bit, man, sound like monster magnet, like Dave Windorf and monster magnet, like old monster magnet, the good stuff, not, not, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, space Lord. I'm talking like, no dopes to infinity and like super judge you know like i mean and the the, the cool like old 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 uh monster made it and unfortunately that was when windorf and the boys were still a little effed up you know but <laughs> they cleaned their act up a little bit and you know sometimes it happens it depends on who you are but either way it doesn't matter i'm not encouraging the the use of drugs one way or the other i'm just i'm just saying i mean that's my comparison right there and like i said these ladies don't want to tear it up it's a great tune i love it and they love the Kind of even if it wasn't intentional, it made it sound like old school monster magnet. So that that stuck out for me. So that was awesome. Yeah, definitely. That you're, <clears throat> that's a really good comparison. That's yeah, spot on. Uh, monster magnet were awesome as well. Um, now the the reason I said it was Marilyn Manson esque or Marilyn Manson. <laughs> 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 what was it last week? Bruce Dickinson. -y. Yeah, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but no, it's, it's got that. I love the. Um, it reminded me of. Uh, he does that really good cover of Sweet Dreams, where it's got the quite clean verse. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper heavy. Yeah. It had that kind of vibe to it, and the guitar tone and stuff was a bit like that. But I thought that was such a fat tune, um, and I love the guitar tone in that. That was just wow, wow, heaven. It was just <laughs> you want to see that. On, you want to be right at the front when they're playing that. <laughs> just, <laughs> I want to be like <clears throat> fifteen again with hair down to my ass. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Just rock out to that. It's proper cool. I, I love that. That's a, that's a brilliant tune. They're a really cool band. I'm glad they sent us a couple of new tunes. They're just in time as well. It's today, isn't it? So. Yeah, right. Eh? You, nice you know what? <laughs> you know, I don't think my hair ever got past my shoulders. But man, things. My my problem was is like, even the length it is now, it starts to get a bit long. It starts to curl in front, not super quickly, but starts to curl. And back in the day, you know. I'm going to school and I tuck my hair behind my ears, put my hat on, and of course it'd be middle of winter, so I'd come in and be frozen, but then it would puff out. <laughs> <laughs> and I and it looked like it was like wearing a, almost like a bell was pretty bad, but you know. Yeah, mine used to when I was growing it out, it used to go down sort of an inch and then out an inch mm -hmm. and then down an inch and then out an inch. So kind of every other week I'd look like I was dressed as a clown, <laughs> but even, eventually when it got past my shoulders, it sort of sorted itself out. Probably just because of the weight of it, quite thick hair. <laughs> so I had it really long at one point, but yeah, they, those were the days. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I cut I'm, my I'm... hair when, uh, when my son was about one and I was fed up and pulling it. <laughs> <laughs> right Good on. So, yeah. <laughs> so next up, we have a brand new Dirty Falcon song. And this one's a great title. Just what do you think you're worth? Dig this. Dirty Falcon. <laughs>
right on, dirty fucking. Just what do you think you're worth? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, sounds kind of condescending, eh? Or it's just like saying, like, well, who the hell do you think you are, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, um, by the way, that's a great old pick, Mike. I'm looking for a uh, 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 pick me a long hair if I have one on my phone here somewhere. I might. So if I do, I'll post. If not, I will. I will find one and post it very shortly. I promise. Because they 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 were they weren't pretty. There, there's at one point. Uh, my my entire head was braided. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but yeah, it didn't last too long. It lasted about three or four days until I got a really bad headache. So, okay, forget this. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely want to see that picture. <laughs> yeah, I, I I'm looking for. It. I know I have some, but I, I am looking for it. <laughs> so I've got one of me. This is these are all going on the website. I've got one of me with straightened hair, but it does look awful. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I think it might have been for a Halloween party. It was pretty scary, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. Um, yeah, look, I, 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 I have um, just in the last two minutes dubbed Dirty Falcon London's finest hard rock band, and I would challenge anyone to uh, to deny that. I think they're awesome. <laughs> oh man, cool and that that sounds like something that could have been off of Bleach, like like Nirvana, like we were talking about last week, because that was pretty heavy. And yeah. e- even even some of the screaming uh, sounded a little bit like uh, Chester Pennington from uh, um, Lincoln Park. Yeah, definitely. It had, it had that whole vibe going on. It's just got so much energy in it as well. It's just furious and frantic and, yeah, just mental, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> they're a really solid, really good band with just loads of energy. Uh, and it's, it's one of those where, um, like, you want to see them in, like, there's a couple of really good, like, little sweatbox venues in London, like Bird's Nest and places like that. That's where you want to see a band like that because you know it's going to be, like, you know, circles and <laughs> right. everything else <laughs> in a room with like 120 people. That, that's, that would be their perfect environment. You know, if they ever get big and play Wembley, I can't imagine it'll be the same being in the crowd. It'd be great for them. <laughs> but, yeah. but, but you almost want to see them in a small place just so you can, you know, well, sweat everywhere, I suppose. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> they're all, that, that sounded wrong. That wasn't supposed to sound wrong. It's yeah. supposed to be a compliment. Well. Anyway, it sounds brilliant. It's a great tune. I love them. <laughs> so some uh, muddy fine phrasing going on there. Oh, mate. It's just yeah. <laughs> so we are going from the, the pretty heavy to still still in the heavy category, but the these are are these next two band are more kind of heavy and <clears throat> creepy. I know we've been swearing a lot tonight already, and I do apologize. So you know, like <laughs> parental advis- advisory. I mean, not that I'm really concerned about it, but you know. So um, I was gonna say, the term is gonna use be creepy as fuck. So, but in a in a good way. So the first one up we haven't played in a while, and unfortunately they 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 disbanded a few years ago, which is too bad because they were fantastic. This is a band called The Evil Dead. And the song's called Psychosis. Dig this.
the Neville Dead with Psychosis, and it's such a shame that they broke up. But they are mixed, and think theme-wise and musically for the first two, it's a mix. It's like the Munsters meet the Addams Family. But I'm I'm, <clears throat> I'm I'm talking like 50s, 60s when the actual shows came out with the, with the theme music. And then mix that with old Alice Cooper, and you got the Evil Dead. <clears throat> I mean, that just it just it just awesome stuff, you know. Just it's got creepiness literally all around, but it's so so well done, and just I love the effects. I love the 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 good tonality they can get out of the guitars. I mean, I'm not sure what they're using, but man, it's awesome. Yeah, it's really 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 um, cool. Gene. They're a great band. Uh, the the fuzzy bits remind me of a band called Winnebago Deal, who I saw a couple of times. Oh, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago, and they were awesome. They're a two piece. They did this really fuzzy, heavy uh, stuff, and it, just that the, the opening riff and the riffs in between the, the verses on that uh, had that the exact tonality. It was really, really cool. And then, yeah, it goes into this kind of creepy, trippy, this is a little bit messed up kind of rock, which I really like. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's quality. It's a shame when bands break up. Really, you know? <clears throat> oh, yeah, right. I know, eh? I'm sure there's always good reasons, but you know, you think, well, good bands like that just get it together. But then again, you don't want to end up like Liam Gallagher, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just tweeted recently, I think, uh, um, any Oasis song that I sing on is up for grabs on this tour. It's like, well, yeah, because that's all anyone wants to go and see. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but never mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, I thought, I thought that, that, that's brilliant. That's quality, it, it just funny that the band's name had Winnebago in it because my mind went to <laughs> automatically went to Spaceballs. <laughs> you, know, you, you know, sir, what? The radar, it's picking outlines of a Winnebago. 